with somebody who's not crazy. In 1935, Mary took a little tiny photograph, the contact print, three by two inches. Uh, it's owned by the Bowdoin College Museum of Art. It's called Space Writing. And he's writing in front of the camera, and it is, looks like abstract curl cues, white looping shapes. And when you hold the image up to a mirror, it says his name, Man Ray. And I used the pen lights in some very early work when I was in grad school, which I don't think it was consciously known. I just, Man Ray and Surrealism was definitely an early influence of mine. Did I know that picture in the 70s? I don't think so. The Polaroid poles with the pen lights uh, were done just a few years ago, and they were it's shown in my uh, exhibition, Struck by Light. Took the pen lights and drew directly on the negatives. So the whole Polaroid studio had to be completely dark low light situation and no one had ever drawn on the negatives before. So in effect, the Polaroids are photographs. because I'm interested in the shadow image and I think color cueing off the palette of the photographic color theory, red, green, blue equals studio equals studio. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and also the way I'm pushing color in the medium. I'm getting sort of a pioneer with color. I'm really, because color is a parallel invention with photography but wasn't really uh, sort of got all the kinks out of it, and sort of the, until the war came, World War II, then it really got sort of used more, and of course there's issues, curatorial issues about fading, and et cetera, but the materials have gotten really great. So, I think color, color and light, and big stuff. I like work that's really big scale. <laughs>